Okay, so I quickly cleaned up my dark plane of my cube. So next we're going to move on to the second darkest, which is this plane right here. Um, I'm going to continue to use a 9B, but I'm going to apply a little less pressure. Um, if you don't want to use 9B, you can use a 6 or 4B instead. I'll use a 4B real quick. I'll change up. So I'm going to fill in this whole side or plane of the cube. Now remember, I want this side to be a little bit darker than the top, but lighter than the side here. Also, you notice I'm covering my lines. I don't have a line, but I do have an edge. I'm creating a sharp edge or a soft edge, depending on the emphasis I want to bring to an area. One thing I also want you to notice, if you notice in the planes, they're not completely in shadow. There's some variant values going on. There's either some re uh, reflective highlights going on. Um, you can see on this plane right here, it's not completely dark. Um, there's also some light that's coming down, being reflected into the bottom, of the base of the cube. So you can see over on this side, it gets a little bit lighter. I tried to leave this a little bit lighter. I can make this a little bit darker than or lighten this up, either or. Um, over here, it's going to be a little bit lighter as well from the top. So I can leave that corner, bottom, a little bit lighter than everything else. And then, like, again, I can use paper towel to help blend those light, light areas and smooth everything out.